with Chit Chat Kit Kats. Don't forget today is Saturday. It's Hogali Day. So looking so forward to seeing Hogarth and Lena later today. So I hope you tune in for that. And oh my goodness, as far as my health, you know, I feel feel fine, um, you know, adjusting the medications and stuff, but it seems to be going pretty well. I don't think there needs to be a huge adjustment, but we'll see. I'm only, what, a little over a week out so far. Um, so I think in a month or so, I'll know about the medications, how they're actually working in the body. Uh, so we'll see. But um, as far as recovering, you know, I feel I feel good. Uh, of course, it's I have the uh, technical difficulties of the voice still. It's going to take a while, but every day it's getting stronger. It's getting better. So that's good. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I'm hoping that it repairs rapidly. Although I was reading with somebody else that they couldn't sing for over a year. So I hope that's not the case here. Now, I wanted to do Native American flute. There are some things I can do on it and some things I can't as yet. Um, some vocalizations I do with it are not possible at, <clears throat> at this moment. Um, but again, like I said, it's a technical difficulty. Uh, things just get kind of strained in there from the operation, and it's going to take a while to right itself before everything is again fully functional the way that it should be. So we take it a day at a time, do what we can, and um, <clears throat> Keep trying to push the envelope a little more to, to see, you know, what we can bring in and what has to wait a while more. <laughs> and <laughs> what to do, Baba. <clears throat> but overall, I just, you know, I'm still um, taking naps a little bit, cat naps throughout the day. Um, and I think part of it is just, you know, when you're under the anesthesia and stuff, um, that kind of takes a toll on you a bit as well. And then with things, trying to repair everything in there, um, healing and stuff, again, it takes a little toll on your energy, etc. But uh, I, can't, I can't complain, really. <clears throat> It's coming along quite well, and uh, I can eat now. Last night I had liver, I had liver and onions, so that was good. Of course, these two were like vultures, looking at every bite I'm eating, waiting for them, because they know whatever I have meat, I have to share, and they will get their little tribute piece of meat. <laughs> You're trying to eat, and you've got these two vultures just zoomed in on the meat, and they do not take their eyes away from it. <laughs> They're so bad. The minute I put it out there, Max comes over and starts starts pumping me for food. He'll come over. The minute I put it out, he'll come over and start licking my hand. It's like, I, I want some. I want some. He is so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, they know how to communicate. Absolutely. If he wants something, he'll lick your hand. If you offer him something he doesn't want it, he'll, he'll lick your hand to say, I don't want it, thank you, but no thank you. He'll either take it or he'll lick your hand and say, thank you, but I don't want it. <laughs> So they do have very good communication skills, especially Mr. Max. Anyway, so all good. Um, like I said, every day I'm able to eat a little bit more. Um, and uh, so I think it's 
really healed enough that I could probably eat whatever I want at this point now. It just, again, my voice is still a bit weak, sounds a bit hoarse, um, and uh, I can't sing anything, um, <clears throat> any kind of vocalization below this lower, lower range. Um, it just it, nothing will work <laughs> that way yet. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried, <laughs> and it's just, yeah, no, no. There is no singing yet. <laughs> and that can be a bit frustrating, you know, because I do love singing, but uh, that's, that's on hold for Lord knows how long. Um, I can't imagine how it would be if you are a professional singer and you're doing tours and this and that and you have to have something like this and I mean really you're out of commission because it just simply won't work there is no way <laughs> so yeah anyway we do the best we can and we go step by step um and we'll see if it comes back, when it comes back, etc. If it doesn't, there's always other things to do. So um, part of part of the life cycle. But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone. You know, and people are still saying, sending me energy and uh, well wishes and etc. But really, I don't feel ill. It's not like that. It's just like I said, I've got technical difficulties as this is healing. Now, um, Monday, I think it's Monday, I go and see, yeah, Monday, I have to go see the doctor and he's going to check, I mainly check my incision. It's healing, healing well. Uh, I don't feel any kind of um, difficulty. It just feels a little, uh, underneath of it, you can feel the stitches. It feels pretty nasty. <laughs> it feels like, you know, when you take this off, it's going to be kind of bunched up and stuff. So that this, you know, it does not feel smooth. It is, uh, yeah. But I don't feel it. It did have a bump here, um, but sometimes that happens. It fills with uh, fluid where the bigger part of tissue was taken out, but that's gone down. The swelling that was here has gone down. The discoloration is going. Uh, it looks much better now. I was all bruised, black and blue, all the way down to here. Uh, so that's cleared up. That looks much better now. And the only difficulty I have is still just my voice is a bit weak, okay? Uh, it, it gets stressed after a while, that's all. But other than that, it's a mechanical issue. Other than that, everything appears to be fine. But like I said, Monday I go, and he'll probably take this off. Um, and he just wants to check this and may want to do a blood test. I don't know yet, maybe to check the levels to see how it's uh, working in the body. We'll, we'll see. And then Tuesday, Mr. Max goes for his grooming again, and he's going to be all spiffy again because right now he is just, <laughs> he's looking a little sad around the edges. But anyway, so uh, people, don't forget today, Hoga Lee time. Lord only knows what questions we're going to have today. I never know ahead of time what he's going to ask, what questions we're going to read on. Um, but we'll find out. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Much love and light to everyone out there, and we'll see you on line.